Hello everyone, Sigler here, Pork Pork. So today I'm gonna show you my investment on uh, uh, herbalism and alchemy that I'm gonna do for phase two in Season of Discovery. So let's just r jump right into it. So here I made a spreadsheet, just as always. So we're first gonna discuss about the what we know of the... I'm gonna click here just so you know where I am. We're going to discuss what we know from phase one, and that is the well lit supplies. Uh, we had the different kind of ones for just like the, the actual herb. Um, and my, I think they're like for, we really going to have the next one, some of them, not everyone, because we have a lot of them for the next pan, for the next patch, which is uh, six of them that we're going to use. No, wait, no, I actually ate. Sorry, it's this. <laughs> but uh, what we had in the uh, Ultimate tab was the healing potion, minor healing potion, lesser mana potion, and elixir, elixir of fire. And potential ones are the, from that I think is the superior healing potion, greater healing potion, greater mana potion, or just a mana potion. Like some of them would is most likely gonna be in the in the supplies so yeah that is some of them that i think is gonna be in them it's probably gonna be one of the like elixirs of uh, like similar to the elixir of fire but yeah then we go to the safe phase two investments and that's just the uh, king's blood life fruit fade leaf gold thorn uh, cadgar's whiskers winter spite Fire Bloom and Purple Lotus, and all of those are going to be made in all kinds of different potions, elixirs, uh, and yeah, pretty much everything. And some of them we're going to discuss. But uh, before we start, um, I highly recommend that you run to Tanaris right now if you're planning to do alchemy, because some of these recipes are sold on the auction house uh, for extreme amount of gold. Um, so, I mean, we're most likely gonna do some farms there on level 40 anyway, so you could get the flight path. Um, I did run there today and got uh, some of these, uh, well, I got all of them actually, but uh, I, I actually bought uh, a few extra Philosopher's Stones and the Transmute Iron to Gold and stuff like that. Just so I can put them up on the auction house because people are gonna buy them because people are lazy to that they are not running to Tanaris in any time soon. So yeah, um, because you really need the Philosopher's Stone if you're gonna be a transmuter uh, from this point forward, really, because we're gonna uh, transmute more stuff in the future. So yeah, um, and the Nature Protection Potion. Um, I, I think, I, I don't know what it's called, but the boss in, in Nomrigan, the, the vicious or whatever, he, he will most likely use poison damage. So it, it could be a bit of a sp uh, thing to to invest in because I, I, I bet people are going to buy it just to reduce the damage taken from that boss, uh, similar to the shadow protection potion. That we use for calories in BFD. So yeah, I ha highly recommend you go to Alchemist Pe Pestle Sug in uh, Tanaris Gadget San, and he sells these. Uh, yeah, let's move on forward. So these are some of the things uh, I think that oils are gonna be very good for the next phase. Um, I mean, the oil of immor immolation has always been good. Uh, I mean, I've I've actually used this one on like level seventy when I was AOE grinding on my paladin. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be valuable anytime. Um, and then we had the frost uh, frost oil, which I, in my opinion, could be used as a melee to cast a shadow bolt in PvP. Uh, I don't know if they get the slow effect, but if they do, yeah, I, this one will most likely be there. And if you remember the the um, 
the uh, I, I don't know if I think it was a two-handed sword that was in my blacksmithing video uh, that also had a slowing effect um, I'm just thinking imagine that one with this one uh, you you will probably slowing them uh, a lot in PvP and as a tank uh, well or maybe a draft any melee class uh, you would uh, probably use the shadow oil I'm gonna use that one uh, for sure on my tanks because it's just a extra shadow bolt rank 3 which can hit quite hard if I'm not mistaken and then also we got the uh, rocket the uh, goblin rocket fuel which is for engineers that we can make as ultimists so yeah um, let's move forward uh, I'm gonna discuss something that I saw in a video uh, I'm not gonna mention any name or anything and not to flame uh, but it's just my opinion on the on the matter in that set video they explained that the Iker of undead uh, undeath is gonna be like a very good thing to get in phase two uh, it's gonna be valuable like a lot they say uh, just for the elixir of greater water breathing um, like why would you invest in such a hard obtained item if you can get the cheaper one like it sure it's double the amount but it's gonna be way cheaper uh, most likely and I mean is it worth farming really I mean look over here this is what you can get like use the icor of undeath which is the blight uh, which we're not gonna use yet anyway so sure you could invest it on that but not the specific this one uh, after that the greater resistance which we can't not use yet either uh, so here we got the water water breeding but like I said before I think this one is gonna be way cheaper and the gnomish death ray I mean sure that one is is nice to have and the soul pouch but I mean, if we look at the highest drop chance, that's that's Dire Mall and Dead West and Stratholme and Eastern Plaguelands. We're not gonna be there for the next patch. We, we are not, unless someone is doing the guard pull or whatever. And then, like, let's sort it after what we could kill. Sure, you could do this on level 4 and kill some of these in Stranglethorn Vale. But, I mean, look at the drop chance. It's going to be so low that it's not going to be worth it, in my opinion. If you want to do it, go ahead, knock yourself out. But I'm not going to do that. So, that's the my opinion on the Iker of Undeath. Moving on, we have the Fire, fire Fin Snapper, which we're going to make for the Firewall. We can already do that. I've invested in... Uh, a lot of fire fin snappers and made a lot of fire oil, oil just for this because we're gonna be able to use the fire oil for crimson silk gloves the crimson silk uh, shoulders and the crimson silk cloak I mean the cloak I'm not sure if like dynamites or whatever or bombs in in uh, Nomergan counts as fire damage but if they do this could be a small resistance to it I believe like I drop a comment down below if you if I'm mistaken but uh, if so the matter is also we have the small flame sack which is made for a lot of other stuff also but from an ultimate standpoint uh, you you can only use it for fire protection potion so yeah and if that works like a fire damage like breath or whatever it could be worth investing in it just for the fire protection potion and also uh, we're gonna need king's blood like we like always for the elixir of firepower just for the uh, let's actually check if there is any other where is it uh, let's see here Ultimist, let's see here uh, Elixir Stat Elixir Is there anything else rather than What was it? The Elixir of Fire So as a Demonology or Fire 
I mean, there's pretty much nothing here that I would rather... Okay, it could be this one. But we can't use that yet, so that doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, the, the fire, the elixir of fire uh, will most likely will most likely still be around in phase two. So yeah, uh, now we're gonna do some, I'm gonna spoil some of the phase three investments that you can do in phase two. We can uh, herb the Arthas tears in phase two, but we're not gonna use anything until phase three because the Cliff, uh, the gift of Arthas. Let's see here. Where is it? Uh, I think I saw it somewhere. Here it is. Um, let me move it over here so you can see it over here. Uh, as you can see here, you need 240 in order to make the gift of Arthas. The gift of Arthas is. Uh, uh, I've seen circling around and being made and like being used in a lot of cases and if we're gonna go into like the Karasun crypts there might be like some shadow damage there or whatever but if you're looking at the infected disease increased damage take by eight it's not much but it's it's something and it's a damage increase which people are gonna do to min max the parses so that's one thing that you can gather for uh, the Arth Arthas tears um, because it's gonna be on the auction house and it's probably gonna be cheap. It depends on it depends on your risk tolerance. Uh, moving on, we have another thing that we can do in phase two as a tower uh, to prepare for phase three, which is we can uh, they have the cul cultivation, which gives them fifteen herbalism. Then you get the herbalist gloves with five herbalism on them, and then you get the enchant, which is five herbalism skill. With that, you have a total skill of 250, which makes us being able to herb these for phase three. So yeah, that's a little uh, yeah a phase three investment that you can do. But yeah, uh, so yeah, there is the list. I uh, hope you found this one uh, informative and I'll catch you in the future in the next video. Bork bork!